These actually mesh together a lot better than I thought they would, not that I designed them to mesh together. Today we're going to talk about these wheel spikes that I designed for the Segway Navimo. So now I have two robot mowers that are going, I wouldn't say at all times, but pretty much every single day. And the smaller one, the Segway Navimo I 110, it's very tiny. It is low footprint. We have another video where we talk about it and you see it going through my buddy's yard mowing his grass, which looks fantastic by the way. It is small. It is low footprint, low impact on the lawn. However, that also means that it really doesn't have very good grip. And in my yards, I'm having a lot of troubles with it. There's little holes here and there, just like, it, it just gets stuck a little more. It's actually stuck right now, which it wasn't in a hole. It, wedged itself under a vehicle uh, i can see it on the app it's just sitting there i will have to go deal with it my fault my fault at any rate i printed these wheel spikes for it and i just used some sheet metal screws actually i don't even use all eight holes i only use four it's holding on pretty well and i saw a really good improvement in traction a really good improvement in the ability for it to climb a hill but the first set that i made these are the identical size of the stock tires so it really doesn't stick out above and i did this so that it could still go on concrete it could still go on hard surfaces and it wouldn't be skidding along on these spikes but it gave it a little bit wider width a little bit more tooth on the edge and i saw that it actually works really good and as you can maybe see in the design i have essentially a what would they be called a uh, perpendicular spike edge here i'd call it 90 degrees but they're a little bit you know it's a circle so all of the radians are going to be outwards a little bit so any rate don't need to talk about that let's talk about the spikes uh, i set a spikes that go back at about a 45 and to meet the back edge of another spike and then we have that same pattern just repeated over and over and over and then i added a five millimeter radius to the inside to maybe strengthen it a little bit but also to make it look nice uh, even on stuff like this i want it to look good for some reason so it works really well actually as you can imagine uh well, let's say we got some blades of of grass or whatever eh, you know it may slip over that one but it's gonna it's gonna dig in and and go through and then just kind of its way through and these are kind of sharp honestly i didn't do a radius on that but this isn't quite enough for a lot of areas in my yard it's it's close but it's not quite there so i designed this one that maxes out the bamboo 256 millimeter it prints over the extrusion calibration section and you know there's, there's like little bits left over but it works just fine I, it maxes out the bed i'm like within a millimeter of all the edges on the square at least we'll see how it does as you can maybe see the teeth are about five millimeters longer the diameter is about 10 millimeters bigger or so roughly than the other ones that we made and we'll see how it does that will give me a little bit more bite but it's going to be problematic on concrete i do think so i'm probably going to end up getting another mower the two mowers don't quite cover everything fully uh, the navi mow just doesn't get the slopes so i need to pull the more capable one over there to that location and that means that i need another one to go back to the others uh i i don't i don't know what i'm doing yet it's a very uh i wouldn't say steep learning curve it is a learning curve to figure out which of these mowers are good for certain things and you know just what they won't do i'm pushing them pretty hard I got a lot of mowing to do and you know it takes a long time to get a garden set up to where it's just garden instead of grass and even so you still have paths there's still you know access areas and that needs mowing there's still front yards that need mowing and that's that's what these are for so these are working great we'll see how version 2 does i have a feeling that once it gets on concrete because uh, there are a few sections where it needs to go traverse concrete to get around it may really yeah it may not be good uh, but we'll see it, this takes like three hours to print uh, we're printing another one right now it really is not gonna be a big deal to print a set of these you know maybe every few months or something if they get worn down we'll find out nothing but testing as usual that's kind of what i get myself into is we we end up testing and tuning and changing things that probably don't need to be changed but i just can't leave well enough alone i still haven't cut the skirt up on the mower 
and I think that would be the biggest thing. Uh, I'll just need to bring it in. When, when I get the new one, I'll actually bring it in and we'll just modify the new one and that'll be, yeah, moving forwards. I did figure out I don't need to disable the internal speaker. You can actually turn it off in the app. So that was really nice. If it's mowing at night, you don't hear it just beeping constantly because it over notifies every little thing. Oh, it lifted a wheel, beep, beep, beep. Oh, there's something in my way, beep, beep, beep. Ah, oh, restarted the blade because there was something in my way, beep, beep, beep. They beep too much, it's annoying. It's very annoying. So I did figure out that in the app, you can turn that off. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just continue to play with this thing. I'll maybe print some more accessories. If you got one of these, the Navimo I, I don't think that these are available yet. If I need to put these up on a website, I guess I could. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Not that I, I don't want to be running a 3D printer for money though. I, I don't, oh, I don't know, I don't, I don't. I tend to get myself into that predicament and I promise y'all that I'm gonna print something for you and I just never do. So call me out on it. You gotta call me out on that more often. Yes, sir. All right, so there we go. More parts for the Navimo, and we're gonna see how they do. I'm gonna bolt some up, and then we will make another video sometime in the future. So, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Oh, I'm 3D printing everything I see From a chicken coop door to a brand new key A never-ending saga of plastic and gears With my heart and soul and these wild ideas Made up Bike pedal bright neon green Bet you never seen one quite so mean Printed a belt buckle shaped like a poop Now I'm the cowboy of the maker route Fixed my tractor with a custom made part Now it hums along straight from the heart Neighbors come around asking for a piece To keep the farm running, never to see So I'm 3D printing everything I see From a chicken coop door to a brand new key A never ending saga of plastic and gears With my heart and soul and these wild eyes Chicken coop door to a brand new key A never ending saga of plastic and gears With my heart and soul and these wild ideas Oh, I'm 3D printing everything I see You've made it to the end of the video. Hopefully that means you liked what you saw. If you want to help out the channel, you can like, subscribe, and definitely comment down below. We would like to hear new ideas from you, so be sure you let us know what you'd like to see. There are some other suggestions probably floating by my head right now that you can check out. And otherwise, we appreciate your support and your help growing the channel.